Quick disclaimer, in this video, we're looking at the ADR panel, taking a deep dive into the controls and settings to get ready for an ADR session. If you're actually looking for a walkthrough on how to do ADR in DaVinci Resolve 18, check the link in the description for a video that walks you through start to finish on how to do an ADR session. Firstly, ADR is commonly used in filming to improve the sound quality after filming has finished. This allows you to record speech in controlled environment, free of background noise, and usually with a better microphone. In DaVinci once you resolve 18, you can find the ADR function in the Fairlight page. Click the ADR button on the interface toolbar to open the ADR panel. This is where you find the workflow for automated dialogue replacement. While ADR isn't actually automatic, Fairlight does a really great job at making it as easy as possible. The ADR interface has three panels, a list panel, a record panel, and a setup panel. To start at the beginning, the setup panel is where you configure your ADR session. The pre-roll and post-roll panels specify how many seconds of play before and after each cue's in and out points, giving actors a chance to listen to what comes before and after each cue. If you enable the beeps option below, Beeps provide a countdown during the pre-roll. The record source panel is disabled until you select a record track. When enabled, the drop-down menu lets you choose the input you want to record from. Next, the record track drop-down menu lets you choose the track that you want to record to. Selecting a track with this menu creates a patch from the source to the record track and automatically toggles record enable on. The guide track is a drop-down menu that lets you choose which track the original production audio you need to record is on. This is used for sending audio playback to the talent to use as a guide for recording their own replacement performance. The record file name is a text entry field that lets you provide a name for the audio files being recorded. The character setup panel is a list for adding the names of all the characters that have dialogue cues you'll be re-recording. An add new button lets you add additional names to this list, while a remove button lets you delete names that you no longer need. Below that panel, there are switches that enable or disable various functions. Beep to endpoint enables a three beep sequence to be heard leading up to the recording. Beep at endpoint enables one last beep at the endpoint. For beeps to be audible, the beeps channel must be patched to your audio output using the patch input output window. Count in is an on-screen counter that counts down to the start of the queue. Video streamer is a visual queue for the talent to watch during pre-roll to ready them for recording, with vertical lines helping indicate when they should start speaking. Smart timeline, when turned on, automatically moves the playhead to each queue as it's selected in the queue list, and zooms in to frame the duration of that queue in the timeline. Mixing control enables automated switching of audio playback. For example, with this enabled, the guide track is not routed to the control room when the engineer is reviewing a take. The list panel is where you create a list of cues you need to re-record and provide several controls. The cue editing controls panel displays the data for the currently selected cue. In and out time code fields store the timeline in and out points where they were set when the cue was created. They can be manually edited or fine-tuned. A character drop-down menu lets you choose which character that line of dialogue belongs to. Lastly, a text entry field lets you enter the dialogue cue that is to be re-recorded so that you and the talent can both refer to it. The new cue button adds a cue to the list using preset in and out points with whatever character was last selected. The cue list is that list of all cues that have been entered or imported and can be filtered using a filter drop down menu at the top right of the ADR panel. You can choose to show all cues for that character or for any selected combination of characters. You can also choose to hide all cues that are marked as done. Additionally, the ADR interface option menu has three commands pertaining to the list panel. Import cue list lets you import a properly formatted CSV file. Export cue list lets you export the contents of a cue list to a CSV file. And clear cue list deletes all cues in the cue list. Lastly, the record panel is where you run the ADR session that you've been setting up using the dialogue cues in the cue list. The record and rehearse controls at the top left are four transport controls and two buttons that allow you to control recording during ADR sessions. These controls are only clickable when you've selected a cue from the cue list to record. Rehearse runs the section of timeline specified by a cue without actually recording anything. Then there is a play stop and record button. To the right of those are two buttons. Keep playing allows you to keep playing the track at the end of a take so that the talent can hear the next section of the track. 
You can press this button at any time, even while recording. Alternatively, the keep recording button allows you to continue recording until you manually stop the recording. This can also be pressed at any time during recording. Just below those controls in the middle of the panel is the take list. The take list shows every take you've recorded for the current cue. Newest at the top with take number, name, and a rating so that you can keep track of which takes worked and which didn't. At the bottom, the cue list shows which cues have been entered or imported and can be filtered using the filter drop-down menu at the top right of the ADR panel. You can filter to show the cues for all characters or for any combination of characters. You can also choose to hide all cues that are marked as done. A sixth column appears in the record panel only labeled done. This contains checkboxes for each cue that you can turn on to keep track of which cues you've finished. Additionally, the ADR interface option menu has an option to enable recording during the pre-roll in the event you're working with talent that likes to start early. If you find this helpful, consider subscribing and check out a link in the description to see the step-by-step -step guide on how to run an ADR session.